talk about what's going on with the council. In today's show, Mr. Alexander joins us on so Counselor's Couch and we'll meet the Kiss the Pig contestants. Hey Vikes, I'm Lexi. And I'm Alex. And you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Today we have another counselor's couch. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Alex to talk about what's going on with the Counseling Center this week. So, what is it? Okay, so I'm going to kind of talk about this week and next week. So, most important thing, enrollment is due today. If you have not enrolled for next year, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you need to try to get your choices into the computer today. I'm sure your CLP teacher will have a list of kids who haven't done it and they will be on you. So make sure you get that in today. If you're really struggling, go see your counselor. They can help you out. Two, Washburn CEP students. If you're taking dual credit from Washburn, then payment is due tomorrow in full, or you have to have your payment plan set up by tomorrow. Okay, if you don't, then you have to pay it in full um, regardless, you won't have a chance to set up a payment plan. So that's all due tomorrow. Again, if you're having trouble setting up your My Washburn account or you don't know exactly where to go, come see me and I can help you with that. Okay? Um, early graduation. If you are a junior and you're planning on graduating in December next year, um, starting next week, come see your counselor instead of in a meeting. Just come see us individually and we'll get you the packet of information that you need to be able to graduate early. So make sure you come see your counselor next week if you're planning on trying to graduate in December next year. Um, also, Mrs. Ross has the Pennant Project in the counselor's office where she puts down, seniors puts down where you're going after graduation, whether it's to college, whether it's to tech school, whether it's the military, whether it's going straight to work. Come see her. So we want a card from every single senior on what they're doing when they finish at Seaman High School. So please see Mrs. Ross for that. Um, and then next week, the Air Force is going to be here during CLP on Tuesday. On Wednesday, Army is going to be here during lunch and the National Guard during CLP time. And Thursday, the National Guard will be here during lunch. And the last thing is, end of the quarter is next week. Only one quarter left after spring break. So you need to start finishing strong. Get anything made up you need to get made up and get moving. Okay, that's it. Make sure and get your enrollment turned in. Now back to your anchors. Now for your daily news. Today is auditions for the one act plays at 3.15 to 5 p.m. in the choir room. Ask Stoffer for audition or tech forms. Seniors, stop by the counselor's office and see Ms. Connolly if you received a scholarship and to verify diploma information. Anyone who has not updated their computer system needs to before March 3rd or your computer will be taken over spring break. Talk to Ms. Simmons and C4 for more information. Sophomores, the SHS Bank is taking applications and are due March 4th. Washburn Tech will be here on Monday, March 2nd. If you would like to meet with them, there is a sign-up sheet in the counselor's office. Sunflower State Games is seeking an SHS student for its ambassador program. See Schoology for more information. Shawnee County will be here until March 6th for the SAFE program. Make sure to follow the rules while driving. In honor of FFA week, FFA is hiding pictures of a John Deere tractor around the school. If you find it, bring it to W11 to get a free meat stick. Now on to Lexi with sports after this quick commercial break. Kiss pig, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. I'm specially prone to those Poland China porkers. I'm more fun than a dog and smarter than a horse. And you might find them a little coarse. But shoot, they ain't near as rude as some New Yorkers. sports begin March 2nd. Make sure to get your physical in. Also because sports are starting, there is a boys tennis meeting today at 1.15 in the West Commons. Tomorrow's theme for the game at Hayden is Galaxy. Now on to weather with Zoe to see if we will get some nice weather this weekend.
Good afternoon, Vikings. We do have a little bit of a warm-up to be looking forward to, but also moving in with this warm-up is a little bit of rain. By the time we get out of school today, it is going to be a little chilly, but like I said earlier, we will be warming back up into the mid-60s by this weekend, and I highly recommend going outside and enjoying it because by next week, we do have a slight chance of rain occurring. Now back to your anchors. As many of you know, Kiss the Pig is going on. Let's go learn more about why the contestants should win. Kiss big, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. I'm especially prone to those Poland China porkers. I should win and not have to kiss the pig because, come on, let's be honest, watching her for kiss the pig is going to be hilarious because, you know, there's some things that push Mrs. Simino over the edge and having to physically kiss a pig is definitely going to do that. So really just seeing that is all, the, that's the only reason I want to win is just to witness this whole thing transpire. I think I should win because it would be like the school winning, the soccer team's winning mm -hmm. because of all the punishment Mrs. Dietrich makes them go through with conditioning. Mm. So all the students should put money in my jar so the soccer team can win. Because Mr. Weens deserves to kiss the pig and I do not. Uh, he's he's going to win. Um, I'm going to lose. He's been doing way better than me, but I, I just want to tell you guys that this is a great um, cause, and you need to donate. You need to donate uh, to, to Second Chance Animal Rescue and Kiss a Pig because this is where I got this dog, and this dog is delightful. This is my dog, Scout. Aww. And she's the sweetest puppy in the whole world, although she's three. And I, we got her through scars, and she's awesome, and it's a great cause. I'll we'll look up more pictures later. All right. Thank you. I should win because I want to see my husband kiss the pig. I don't want to kiss the pig. Even though it's a cute little piglet, which is better than a giant hog, I would much prefer that Mr. Riley kiss the pig. Uh, I don't really have an opinion in the matter. But look at our jars. I've got $2, and my $2 are lonely, but they're a lot happier than his pencils. So keep giving me the money and keep giving him the pencils. I am selling pencils for a dollar a piece and the money will go towards Kiss the Pig. I will totally come in and steal the money out of his jar and put it in my jar. So go ahead and buy his pencils because the money's coming to me in the end. I got nothing. I don't really look at this as a contest where there's a winner and a loser. If I win, then I'm collecting a lot of money for a good cause. And if Mr. Schmidt wins, he gets to spend some time with one of his favorite animals. I think I should win because uh Mrs. Welch likes farm animals, especially llamas and pigs. Because I'm a better teacher. <laughs> it's pretty simple. I'm older, I'm wiser, and um, I know how to collect money and fundraise better, which you can currently tell because I think I'm ahead by $150. It's got to be more now. It's, I mean, I've gotten 30, 40 bucks more even today. What have you got, a penny? Not much. <laughs> I'm, a little, I'm a little down on funds. The only thing out of that statement that was true is that he is older. He's old. <laughs> it's more pity money that's going his way. I'm going to make a final push on Wednesday, Thursday. So if everybody in the school could come to 921 and lend me a few dollars, because I am about $100 behind. Um, the Miracle on Ice um, anniversary, anniversary is just like Saturday, I believe. Last and Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. I think this is going to be the next I miracle. Am I am going to come back from $110 behind and defeat Mr. Pierce. Speaking of, we'll give, we'll give that back. Uh, football players, wrestlers, 917. 921. 917. There you go. I'm going to win. I'm not even going to be here on Friday, so if you want to see Mr. Pierce kiss the pig, <laughs> I will not be here to kiss the pig. We'll postpone it for you, loser. Pierce needs to kiss the pig on SVTV, so please give him no money. I mean, give me money. Kiss the pig, hug the swine. Some of them are good friends of mine. Those are some pretty good reasons. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Stay tuned tomorrow for an a story on Night to Shine and girls basketball. Have a great day.